I'm well. Great. How are you? I'm I'm doing I'm doing fantastic actually. I'm just coming out of meditation, you know, um listening to the the spiritual and cosmic laws of the universe, you know, trying to keep my vibration to a higher dimension in a sense, you know. Um, so I feel I feel fantastic in a sense. I just um the last the last law actually um was the law of self worth. And just looking at this world around us is like a lot of us are living in a state where we don't feel worthy of, you know. We don't feel worthy of, of, of love. We don't feel worthy of success. We don't think that we can do it, you know. It's it's basically self talking ourselves down, you know, and it's like if you just believe or you just attract or, you know, it, it will come to you, you know, rather it's in an intimate relationship or if it's, you know, success or whatever it is that you want, you have to have that self, you know, self-worth thing. So everything is everything. Every day is a new process you know, a new journey, and I'm learning, and I'm honored, and I'm thankful, and I thank you for choosing me, my love, definitely. You're welcome. Yes. Thanks for having the time. Yeah, I mean, you, I, mean I, 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 make, I make time for those that make time for me. <laughs> that's, that's, mm-hmm. bas- that's basically what it is. I make time for those that make time for me, and I try my best. You know, I think I'm pretty fair. Give me a second. Let me turn you up. I think I'm pretty fair with my scheduling um, with clients. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, Have you ever received a, a psychic medium reading before? I'm picking up expression with you already. But have you ever received yeah. a, a, a psychic medium read with me or no? No, right? No, not with you. Yeah, cause you feel you feel you feel fairly new, um, and they mm-hmm. saying that what they what your spirit guides is telling me now, and I'm gonna allow you I'm gonna ex- allow you to express yourself, but what they the spirit guides is telling me now is that you're going on a new beginning, and it's a new beginning of finding self, or rather, it's a new beginning of righteousness. You know how some you know how in many events they say you have to erase everything that you you been taught in order for you to reprogram the mind again that's basically what's happening with you they're saying listen all that she has learned tell her to pick up the jewels of it because everything is not real all of the things that people might have said to you or people might have told to you i don't know who you go to in terms of like um readings and things like that but you got to take the jewels with what people tell you. You know, I don't know the other people personally, but I'm not feeling as if you are where you need to be on a spiritual level because you have a old, you have a very very old soul like we all do. However, I'm picking up on that wisdom. I'm picking up on those experiences that you once experienced in your past life. And for you to be and I guess some some people would say you know, some people would say, well, it takes time for people. Everyone, you know, is on this journey um, and is awakened on their own level. That's true, too. But dealing with the spirit realm, because the spirit realm has no no timing. There's no such thing as timing. For them, it's like this is where she should have been because of who she is. I feel like you were someone that told stories, you know, like a, 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 a um, uh, the old wise woman that told story, or you could have been a man, who knows, um, mm-hmm. but someone that expresses or held the culture, oh, there you go, held the culture, or held the jewels of what happened with history, or rather what happened in a uh, particular village that you was once living, or a cycle that you was once living. So you were the storyteller. You were the one that kept the culture alive. Um, you de- you dealt with a lot of expression. So we didn't, I don't know if you like to sing, dance, is it poetry, or is it mantra, or is it something with the throat chakra, something with balancing yourself, mind, body, and soul-wise, is what is definitely needed or definitely recommended for you my love in this particular cycle because i'm seeing the number six with you so we're dealing with nurturing we're dealing with healing we're dealing 
um, with higher centers is what they're saying. You have children? Yes. Um, um, huh? I have one. Yeah, so that's the nurturing part. Um, but then if you flip the number six, the if you if you flip the number six, you have nine. So now we're dealing with the the number closest to God, um, with you. And they're also speaking to me about the number two. They're saying balance, balance, balance. What's your sign, my love? Virgo. Okay, okay. So Virgo opposite, um, Pisces. That's me. So we're dealing with the emotions and we're dealing with the nurturing side and we're dealing with balancing the mind and the body. Um, the earth, earth is the body and the mind is the mental, the mind is the spiritual. Um, so with that being said, and now that we're speaking about the mind and the body, they're speaking to me about overthinking. And what they're saying is allow things just to be free with her. Tell her to allow things to be free and things which is... You know, how, you know how sometimes you ask somebody a question and you know the answer already or you know that they're lying, but you just let them say what they say, you know, just to see what they're going to say in, in any event? That's what you need mm -hmm. to do. You, that's what you should begin to do to make things just a little bit more easier for you in terms of the mental, in terms of not taking on other people's energy. Because, again, my love, you are the only person that you have in this world no one or nothing no one or nothing can take away what the universe has for you you have to give yourself self love you have to give yourself that knowledge you have to know how to treat yourself in order for somebody to treat you accordingly and again my love i know i'm just going and diving in deep but you have to understand that your spirit guide is going to tell me things about you that happened in the past present future so we be we can be speaking about future tense now because I feel it very strong with you. Um, or then, or even as you continue on this path of finding self or releasing is what they're saying. I feel like this, I can, I, I can even um, uh, name this, this session the path of releasing because they're speaking to me about releasing and letting go. So in, as you go through this path, path of releasing and letting go, you just have to allow things to just be. Listen, people going to lie to you. People going to try to take advantage of you. People going to do it because you allow it. So if you don't allow certain things to happen, then it won't happen. And the way you don't allow it is by ha being self-centered in a sense. Are, is this making sense to you? You understanding? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You okay? Yeah. yeah, I'm fine. I'm just listening. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, um, oh, it's interesting because your, your name is Earth Goddess. I'm going to call you Earth Goddess. Mm -hmm. That's that's what you, that's what, what I feel picking up. And it's interesting because Earth Goddess truly and, and really I, uh, resonate with this soul that I'm feeling, um, the, the wisdom. And, and that's interesting because what, Virgo is, um, I set. So we're dealing with the earth, we're dealing with the soul, we're dealing with this goddess energy within you. So in any event, and then we, you know, and then that, that also deals with, again, the number the number six, earth. That's the earth energy. That's a spiritual nurturing energy, in a sense. Um, so that's very interesting. Are you, are you a, a nine Virgo or a eight Virgo, August or September? September. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. September what, my love? 13th. Oh, master number. Okay, so then that's, that's, that's definitely why, you know, your mind can go a million miles and, you, you know, it's like you're all over the place sometimes at times because you have so much gifts and talents that you're trying to resonate with and you just don't know how to come into contact mm -hmm. with everything. And one thing for sure, my love, you know, it's all about balancing. It's all about grounding because you are an earth sign, so you have to ground yourself. I want you to begin working with crystals um, if you don't already have any. Um, and what they're speaking to me is about pyrite. Work with pyrite. Pyrite is a money magnet. So you might have act, you might have wanted to ask me about about finances and abundance. Uh, we want to you want to work with. Uh, 
um, um, Pyrite. And then, too, you want to also work with Oshun, Mama Oshun, because she's coming up with you now. You want to work with the white, a white candle and a seven-day candle. Uh, what I'm going to begin to do, because I have so much request of that, I'm going to begin to um, uh, do candle magic for my clients where I will buy the candles, anoint the candles for my clients, and then send it off, and they can just burn it for seven days for whatever it is that they want to manifest. So if it's for money, if it's for love, if it's for prosperity, if it's just for healing, if it's just for balancing, if it's just to get a clear mind, I feel like that's something that I should now offer my clients to help them on their spiritual path because that's what I'm picking up here with you. And as I'm picking this up with you, I should also be doing this for my other clients as well. But in any event, my love, um, the color yellow and the color white is coming up. So definitely new beginnings. Are you planning on starting anything new? Uh, I want to. Which is? Thinking about it, like um, relocating. Mm. Yeah. Relocating where? Just to another city? Uh, yeah, to another. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, well, in any event, whatever it is that you do, rather if you relocate or you don't relocate, whatever it is that you do, it's not about what happens. It's, it's how you handle the 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 outcome in a sense so if you want to relocate if you feel like relocating is better for you more you know opportunities or advantages for you if you even want to start new as i'm picking up new beginnings with you then i would okay. daily rick i would daily recommend that um you do so okay what's what's going on here i i see a a, a barking dog very vicious <laughs> Um, very big. Huh? I lost a dog that was really, really close to me spiritually okay. last year. Oh, you know, I <laughs> let me tell you one thing. I be I I I laugh at myself so much because I'm like, yo, you might as well start channeling animals. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, like what? What's going on here? But okay, well he's here, he's barking. But it seems him. Yeah, it's but it seems like you know like those uh those those canine dogs. Mm -hmm. In a sense like a black you know, the oh it, it might be Anubis. It might be Anubis, the under yeah, but I understand what you're saying because on the physical see what happened is on a physical realm he was your dog, but your dog might have reincarnated into Anubis. Um, or the spirit of Anubis, which is the underworld, which is the 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 deity or the god of death. You know, Anubis is also or is it Set? Yeah, Anubis is the is the star god. Yeah, he is the the door god. Yes, he is. But he deals with death. He is one of the ancient comedic deities that deals with the underworld, just like Osiris. So in any event, he deals with protection and stuff like that. He deals with the spirit realm. So because I'm channeling, that's perhaps why I'm able to pick up on his energy as well. Because where is he? He's he's in the spirit realm. And then you just okay. lost the dog. So now your dog, which was last year, and for them, the spirit guys, it's not more so last year. Because, again, there's no such thing as timing. So in any event, your dog came through. He's barking. He's he's looking for attention, and he's still protecting you. Well, I think he still feels like, or probably, do you still feel his presence? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. Well, then there you go. That's a protection for you. And I wanted to say um, when you said um, about the black dog, it's like I have these dreams of like this black wolf, and it is every time I'm like stressed or going through something, or I feel like somebody is, like, attacking me or something, I dream about this wolf, this black wolf. Yeah. And it's always telling me that it's protecting me. Yeah. So. Well, that black wolf, dog, whatever, whoever this spirit is, because it's a dog, it's an animal, you know, mm -hmm. and you're resonating with, if you're resonating with it, I'm good. <laughs> if you understand, yeah. you, you, you feel me? <laughs> if, if, if you're familiar with this, I'm good, because, again... 
you know, I'm just a messenger, you know, so it, 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 it feels a little weird when I channel animals, but it's all good. Just as long as my client understand or understand what's going on, then I'm, I'm positively okay. But it, it makes sense. But I just feel like, I don't know, it might have been a situation of goddess where, you know, you you might have been in a relationship or it's, it's situations where you you felt like you needed protection and you, you know how they say uh, a, a dog is a man's best friend or whatever that's how I'm kind of feeling like now um are you with the, your child's father no okay no all right I know it's a little sensitive I know I know, I know exactly what you're talking about because okay. I was um, the relationship that I was in with that dog, it was uh, an abusive relationship. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Thank, thank you for being honest because you know I'm about to pull that out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know I'm about to pull that out. Thank you for being honest. And it's all good. You know, you hear, you, you got this reading to, to heal, to let go, and that's why they're saying release. You get what I'm saying? Protection, release yourself, abundance, new beginning. So you're on that journey now. So it's all good. And guess what, my love? We learn. We meet people for many different reasons. Although the the appointment happens in relationships, you know. Um, although you know when I say the appointment may not be so divine, it is divine because now you know your worth. You know, now you know that you're not going to deal with a man like that. Now you know the symptoms. Now you know the signs. So he has actually taught you something, you know. And it's like, oh, that piece of shit or whatever you want to call him. You know, you curse him in your mind. But that's where that that's where that, that, that mental thing is coming in from when I was speaking to you about the mind. You know, and it, it going a mile, a mile per minute. And it's like, listen... If you don't get yourself together mentally and spiritually, they go that balance again. Remember when I was speaking to you about that? If you don't get yourself mentally and spiritually balanced, then guess what? You will always have to repeat the same lesson. And that's just go back to say that he has actually taught you lessons. A lesson or lessons, you know, however you, however you perceive it to be. So it's all good. It is all good. The path of release. Oh, I like that. How does that sound? Something that you want to take advantage of? I don't mind. I don't mind. I know you don't mind. And and, and Virgos are very strong people. You're very dedicated. And that's why the spirit guides are saying, listen, enough is enough. You know, people's going to take advantage of you. People's going to talk down to you. People's going to do whatever it is that you allow them. That's it. Any yeah. questions, my love? Um, I have a question about this dream I had. Um, in my dream, um, I was like standing in like this wooded area, and I was watching the moon. And all of a sudden, it was like, um, something they call like a UFO or something like that. It actually hovered, started hovering over me, mm. and I'm trying to run. But I noticed that I was, like, running real slow. Mm. And the thing just was hovering over me, and then all of a sudden, like, the door just opened, and this man got out of there. He was, like, really, really tall. And he was like, you need to come with us. So when I seen him and looked in his eyes, I was, like, no longer scared. Mm. So I got on this, um, got on their little ship with them or whatever. When I got inside, it was, like, it was like so many doors, but he told me, he was like, okay, the first thing you're going to have to do, you're going to have to strip down because this is like a true cleansing. You right. have to be cleansed. Right. So once he took me through like the first door, he laid me on um, this bed type thing. And, and he hooked the back. I was going through like a pinched nerve in my back that caused like a whole bunch of headaches. Mm -hmm. But when I got onto this machine in my dream, I woke up the next morning after the dream, and since then, this was last year, I never had that problem again. Yeah. But in my dream, he was taking me, like, from room to room and saying different things. And the whole time, every time, every room that I went through, they would, like, touch my 
third eye and was like, you have to remember, you have to remember each room. And by the time I got to like the last room, they was like, okay, you're going to meet the the woman in charge of all of this. Mm. And we want to welcome you home. And it was like, I was, lo- I was looking around and it was like the tallest people to the shortest people.